Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Greg Tech New Horizons. Now, I'm going to point something out quickly before we start. I've just um, basically deleted the pack and had to reload it, reinstall it. So I did make a backup of my world, thankfully, and saved it on my desktop because it deletes everything in your save file otherwise. Um, so please be careful if you are planning on ever doing the same. If you ever want to delete the pack and reinstall it for whatever reason. I did it because I had a problem with the NEI and the OR blocks not showing the correct info. But guess what? And now it works. So now if I search for an OR such as Copper OR, which we tried in the last episode but kept getting that really annoying error message, we can now look it up. And this is what I've been missing. So it tells you what height it spawns. What the generated worlds are and things like that so for example some of the rarer ores such as lead we have to do the great tech version there we go so primary galena secondary silver between lead and sporadic is cryolite so it tells you it's height 5 to 35 and the generated world is the twilight forest so that's really helpful for me to find out where to get ores from i haven't been able to use that at all in this game so far but after deleting this pack and reinstalling it it now works um, if you are going to delete the pack and reinstall it if you've got a similar problem then as i say do make a backup copy that you save to your desktop so just leave the original in your saves file but make a actual copy on your desktop then you can put it back in the saves file afterwards um, i did let it generate a new world just so that it creates a save folder first so just a couple of tips for people just in case they're ever in the same problem right so the only problem we now have is the journey map yeah we've got nothing unlocked i've just done a little run around to unlock a little bit we also haven't got any of the ores so i've been and discovered that one i knew where it was i know where they all are and what's what but i just need to run around and either try and mine one or put a torch on it or something like that to load them back in the world um, it also resets all your key configurations so you have to reset all those again so if you've got a shortcut for your battle gear like i have you have to reset that again um, anything like that see like i use f4 for the quest book that wasn't set to that anymore, that has gone back to its default. So you will have to mess around a little bit and sort everything out. But it's worth it because now I'm happy again. And we've got music again. I don't know how long I'll keep the music for, but it's quite nice to have it for a change, isn't it? I'll keep it for this episode, then I might get rid of it. In fact, I might have to turn it down because it's quite loud. Let's put it on like 25% or something. Still loud, isn't it? it's just in the background not it's all we can hear right so what was I going to do this episode now I've explained everything um, right, what was I working on uh, aha I remember so a few of the viewers have pointed out I can use GT power, so EU to power the thermionic fabricator and the carpenter. Um, I think we just have to hook them up to with cables or I've run the steam pipe all the way to it, which took quite a while. Um, I just need to set up the power now. I've made a turbine obviously as you can see. So we go downstairs. 
and yeah there's the outlet for the steam the pipes hidden behind the wall and yeah underground there is a large main pipe that feeds everything else so it is connected to the main system um, I'm assuming that's where we connect it to So if I put the turbine there, I need a wrench. Okay, that's now running. So I have my wire cutters. Uh, no, I need to connect that. Everything else seems okay with the game. Um, I don't think I've lost any. So all the quests are saved, so that was good. I haven't got to do all those again. I think I would have cried if that was the case. that not connecting let's take a closer look mm, is it facing the wrong way it down. Let's try again. Um, why can't I connect the cable? Why is nothing ever straightforward? Two times tin cable should connect to that, surely. I didn't have any problems over here like that. This is really strange. Let's try again. There we go. 
like the carpenter, fermionic fabricator. So it has power. Now, I think these things, are they running constantly? It doesn't seem to be. I might have to put a switch on it or something. Now I should be able to bring power across to the carpenter. The only thing we're doing it this way is you are getting rid of the biogas engine basically. It sort of defeats the need for another power source. I suppose it's not the end of the world. Power's power, isn't it? Um That's what I was looking for. Right, so we now have power over the other side of our base, which is nice. Which means we don't need this anymore. Uh, can I put that lever on the... Where is it? Oh, it's gone in the builder's backpack. Can I put it on the thermionic fabricator? So let's have a look. Because... I think it's already got stored power. I don't like the lever that way around. So hopefully this turns it on and off. Um, the energy is stored in there now, so right. Let's have a look at what we got to do. So electron tubes, copper, tin. I did notice as a reward you do get lapis, apatine or emerald electron tubes. Um, I think I'll be taking the emerald ones because I can make the others and I don't think I can make this. I don't think I've got any emeralds. Yeah, you need... Um, So you actually need a flawless emerald, or an exquisite emerald. I don't think I'd have any of those. I've got some regular ones. I don't know where you get a flawless one, that's just going to be pot luck, isn't it? So, we'll be taking that as a reward. Um, In fact, there's no reason really why we can't do this. We have to make four tin electron tubes, but that's that should be easy enough. This one requires lapis. Bronze, we have two of those already. So if we make two more bronze electron tubes, we could then choose like the tin ones, which would then enable us to do this and get the emerald ones. 
which is what we need. I don't know what we need the emerald ones for, but. Lepis ones we need. Okay, anyway, let's stop messing around. Let's do this. Let's make a couple of bronze ones. Um, let's look up the electron tubes. So this is what we want to make. So we need a couple of. We need the normal ingredients. Anything that's different is the tube. It's the rods. So I can just put some bronze rods in there. So I'm going to need four of these. So I'm going to need eight of those. Is it night time? Yeah. Okay, bronze. I know I can do this in the lathe. I say it every time, the lathe's just too slow for making rods. <laughs> we could do with a bit more inventory space. Let's put that in there. Dolly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I don't think we need these pipes anymore. I can go in there. Okay. Now the bronze. What was that in the full chamber? Okay. Just as where we can't get burnt by all these big sparks that fly out. Right, so we're going to need the. Red alloy plates, which I thought I made a few up. Maybe I didn't. Oh no, I was in the middle of doing. So I've made the ingots. Let's put them in the bending machine. Okay, for 16 at the moment. These take a while as well, they're 20 seconds each. The tin was for something. Maybe it's going here. So we need gold bolts. I don't have the cutting machine yet, so I've got to do it like this. Oh, we've got some red alloy plates here, okay. Probably going to need some sand for the molten glass. So, what's the recipe? Something like this. Ah, the one thing we're missing is the foils. quite a few up somewhere, yeah. Can't see as needing that many, but let's see. I 
Right, so the machine knows it's got a... OK, we've got to add the fluid, haven't we? It knows there's a recipe in there. Is that all the sand? I've got 21. Let's take half a stack. Okay, so when that reaches temperature, which is right about now, we should get some molten glass, yep. And hopefully... All right, I only need... Okay, I've probably made too many now, because we had two already. Even though it's in a state of off, it's still on. Is this going to constantly consume steam? I'm wondering. Why is it going down now? I've turned it on. Is it on? Is it off? I don't know. I know it needs more ingredients to operate. I'm wondering if this is consuming steam. That's my worry. It's going to drain all my power. Anyhow, right. F4. So we've got to make the copper and the tin ones as well. Long copper rods and some long tin rods. Let's do that. Yummy, didn't I? Ah, oh, but it was a beef Wellington, yeah. I like the visual indicators on the side, so it tells you it's missing liquid, which was the molten or the liquid glass. Obviously, once it heats up, it'll have that. But when they aren't in the um, in the fabricator's inventory, you get a little thing here saying missing materials or resources or something. If they stack, or do I have to take them out? Yeah, I've got to take them out. So, right now, I'll put those in there, and it'll say inventory needs resources. So, put them in, and off we go. Oh, 
sorry, we need six, not four. We also need to complete all of this. Otherwise the quest isn't going to update, is it? Um, Ah, we've got to make the bronze rods. I wonder if it will update. Let's just try making these first. Yeah, it seems to be hot all the time, which suggests it is using power all the time. It's interesting when I click this to on though, uh, the quest is completed. No, it's still not dropping off. It is dropping off. It's reversed, so off is on and on is off. Well, I don't mind because either way it means I can turn it off and save power, so that's good. I suppose it's the redstone signals blocking the power coming in, I don't know. Right, so the quest has completed. Our choice rewards. Uh, I think we do need the Appetine for another one, don't we? Well, maybe we don't. I was actually aiming to do these, not the tubes, but I suppose they're both completing at the same time, aren't they? Yeah, see, I'm not going to do this. So we have the tin electron tubes now. We have a farm block. We need two conveyors and a motor and a hopper and a steel gear. Right. Let's go and see what we've got. Two conveyors, one motor. Actually, motors are in there as well. One thing we don't have is inventory, as usual. This extra backpack does come in handy to store stuff. Let's put his ingots away. OK. 
Okay, let's feed up a bit of space for us. Steel rods, I can go in here. Okay. One hopper, one steel gear. That's a small one. Where was it? There. I just want to, I've lost all my bookmarks as well. That's something I've just noticed. Yeah, never mind. I'll soon redo that. That's everything we need for the hatch. So this we've got to make in the carpenter with some creosote oil. I do have creosote cans, but I'll save those. Ah, oh, we already have some in there. Okay, well, we can store some more. Just just in case we need it. Disabled by redstone. No recipe. Why is that disabled by redstone? Is that... Ah, I can turn the carpenter on and off. As well as that. That's strange. Appetine. Okay, so I should have taken the Appetine, shouldn't I? Electron tubes. I could have made some more of these. Never mind. So I've already forgotten the recipe. Farm hatch. And it was the tin ones. One, two, three, four. I don't remember which way around this was, but... What the full hop was at the bottom? Yeah, it is. Okay, um, 
Ah, oh, this block here. Yeah, it's the farm block that goes in there. Just checking. Okay, it's the farm hatches. Right, I'm going to claim the emeralds. And let's make the valves. So, unless one of these gives lapis as a reward. This one does. So I just need to make Let's have a look. So I need four electron tubes to do it. Do that again, aren't I? Of course, we need our we need some more gold bolts and some more red alloy plates. We should have the plates now. Oh, we're missing the, the sand again. This is a lot of sand. Is it consuming it? I'm hoping it's not. I think it's used up all the liquid um, glass that was in there. I'm not going to put too much in just in case.
this could be a different recipe, couldn't it? It is. So a tin cable and two circuits and another gear. Ah, the motor. I was thinking, why is that not working? I've got everything, but I didn't. I've forgotten the motor. I know I'm probably going to need all of these motors over here, but... I always seem to forget that farm block. Okay, that's the farm controls. All right, we're still just taking the lapis. So this one's going to require another steel gear, a rubber ring, another motor and two pumps. Two pumps, we have the motor. Have the rubber ring. And let's craft another gear. Oh, we need the steel rods. Right, farm valve. Okay, getting the hang of this now, at last. <whistles> All right, we do get a choice reward. I don't really need the lapis ones. I think I'm going to take the appetite. I mean, what's the recipe for this lapis? Long lapis rod. Yeah, so these are not going to be diff difficult to make anyway. Let's take the appetite. Only because I can make some more farm blocks with that. So 
So four bronze electron tubes. We still got those? Yeah. Four steel gears. And a motor. Okay. in the lathe at the moment. Normally I just throw a load of ingots in there and, and then leave it to it. Extruder. Oh, that's MV. I thought, like, yeah, I could have just made it this way, couldn't I, in the alloy smelter. Which is actually... It's not really any cheaper, is it? It's just a bit easier. Now I'm pressing shift and click, but it's only let me make one at a time. Don't know why, but it is, so there we go. Let's grab the motor. What did I do there? I can't remember. Trying to work out what the recipe was then, but yeah, that makes sense. Top up the creosote. Alright, that should see everything done. Um, with all I don't really know what to take. Okay, so we've now completed each stage we need to to build this multi farm. So that just leaves building it really. So. I'll end this one here because I don't even know where I'm going to put this yet. I need to go and plan out an area, get it all set up, ready to go. And then I'll be back for another episode of actually building it and getting it running. So thank you all for watching. I um, hope you've enjoyed this um, interesting video on how to make all the different components and a little bit on the wiring up of the thermionic fabricator and carpenter using EU. Uh, yeah, leave some comments below. I'll be interested to know what people think on the power supply for it, uh, and if I if I can turn it on or off, or is it consuming power all the time? I'm going to monitor it and keep an eye on it, but I would like to hear everyone's thoughts on that. So yeah, leave your comments below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already, and we'll see you soon. Bye everyone. Bye.